Hi friend, welcome in this episode of Magnifty Trading Rule Like a Cardinal. Time tested method, clear strategy, consistent result. Our cardinal philosophy help us to navigate through ups and downs of trading career and make us successful. In today's video, I will discuss about how this Magnifty Trading Pro 2.10 XL can help you to trade Bank Nifty efficiently, effortlessly. It is the easiest and a proven way to trade Bank Nifty at 9.30 every day. You will need to enter a couple of data from the website, free website. We use the tradingview.com and you have to enter the data here and you will check the plan i will show you exactly what to do and here uh, i also uh, mention uh, the performance uh, so far in this january 2021 uh, we have a couple of trades we have uh, conditions one trade conditions two trade and also conditions three trade Today, we do not have any particular trade setup. Um, the uh, setup was conditions 3, but it is not valid. So, so far, we have a profitable a month going on with a profit of 17,850. We had loss in between. There was a loss of 3,950. There was a loss of 3650 uh, on 11th Jan also we lost 1624 25 rupees sorry and on 14 January we had a loss of small losses 775 then we recovered it in 15 January I will show you exactly how you can operate now I have uh, under the descriptions link you will find a uh, link and from that link you can download this 60 minute uh, expert guide uh, how to trade bank nifty trading pro and in this ebook i uh, describe briefly uh, what is the um, gardener philosophy and i also uh, describe the three step uh, method step by step process how you can use it and i give a lot of example uh, so that you can do it uh, by your own and I also um, provide the 2020s performance hit uh, here month wise February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. The December performance is not in this book but you can collect it from me and as you can see uh, it is it is uh, it is already proven to give um, time tested uh, result it is already proven to give you good result now one benefit of this type of uh, this style particularly of trading is that once you have this excel sheet and um, you can enter you can go back to um, the past uh, data you can access the past data uh, from tradingview.com and or any uh, any chart um, you prefer and you can test this performance by your own. Don't believe in my um, word. Instead, you should uh, test it by yourself because it's very easy. You can uh, just enter the data. There is uh, no ambiguity. The strategy is very clear. You just need to enter the data and you will eventually get the trade. So um, you can go back to the May month and you can enter the data and check the performance whether it is matching with not you can uh, go back to july august september any month and you can check by yourself so now i will show you how you can do i um i highly recommend that you should go to the descriptions find the link and download this uh, 60 minute expert guide that uh, give you a good idea about what you can uh, achieve with this magnifty trading pro that is time tested clear strategy and proven method okay now i will show you um, one of the uh, recent trade um, yesterday we had a, a trade and i will show you exactly how to do it but then before that i request to you all that your chart setting should be 15 minute and 
your uh, code uh, for the bank nifty will be the bank nifty one exclamator um, there is various uh, future contact um, but um, this is the contact in generally we trade this is a continuous current uh, contact in front okay and it will be a 15 minute uh, chart and your one indicator you have to plot is exponential moving average the um, time period of this average is 8 always remember that your mm, time frame set at utc plus 530 otherwise a little bit variance uh, of your indicator may comes that can destroy the result okay so um, what you have to do it is very clearly mentioned here that you have to uh, as you can see uh, it is uh, saying start here and you have to enter the open high low close and ATM data of the first candle right uh, now everything what you have to do and uh, not to do is clearly mentioned over here I have uh, give him the one two three four step here and in that ebook um, that you can download from the uh, descriptions link can uh, give you a fair amount of idea of what exactly need to do uh, now I will enter a couple of data so this is the first candle yesterday I put the cursor over here the benefit of trading this style is that you will always trade at 930 so um, you exactly know at what time uh, you will sit two three minutes uh, in front of the market and you will find the trade and you will enter uh, all the orders and you are set for the day the open for the first candle remember you have to enter just the first candle of the day so open of the first candle was 3 to 600 okay I am entering the data 3 to 600 okay by the um, by the way once I will enter the data here um, then I have to move to step 2 check the plan uh, all the trading plan it is conditions 1, 2 or 3 see um, like a, uh, our philosophy is trading like a gardener so we want to keep ourselves flexible uh, uh, like a gardener who are carrying all its all his plants in same way but he know that all the plants will not grow in same manners and he is focused on nurturing the plant and this way we keep ourselves flexible and the gardener also keep himself flexible he know that every plant requires some flexible approach he cannot approach a static uh, strategy uh, to every plant that is the philosophy of gardener okay uh, once you enter the data here then uh, you have to go to the uh, step two that is the check the plan and once you uh, find what is the conditions today one two three then accordingly you have to move to the conditions one conditions two or conditions three tab and your entire trading plan will be automatically comes here that is the beauty of trading this bank nifty trading pro 2.10 where you do not need to analyze anything and so and now let's uh, enter the data so the open was three two 600600 I have entered the data and the high was 32610 32610 okay and the low was 32490 32490.10 and the close was 32538 538.85.85 and I have to enter the ATMA data that is showing 32636 32636.50 I have entered all the data and with this um, my day's job uh, is complete now I will go to the step 2 that is check the plan and you can see that it is appearing yes on conditions 2 and it is says that check conditions 2 tab so we will move to conditions 1 conditions 2 tab and in this conditions 2 tab our trade um, is uh, the trade plan is ready what it says it says 
place a buy order at a 32613 okay now i will uh, show you exactly what to do so um, i am taking a horizontal line and i am uh, i will place that horizontal line at uh, 32613 and i will uh, change the color and setting little bit so uh, because it's a buy order uh, i will make it as a blue and and i will um, i will uh, make this uh, number uh, 32613 32613 i am done so i placed a um, buy order Mm, at 32613 this is the level where your buy order was placed and mm, you have to also uh, place a sale order at 32487 okay now i will take a, another horizontal line and i will place it i will change the color to red because it's a sale order and and i will Mm, I will make it 32487. 32487. Okay. 32487. And I have done. And mm, then uh, this is the job. You have to place a buy order at 32613 and a sale order at 32487. When you will do that? Mm, you will uh, do that at 930. After 930, when your plan is ready. Now, what is the exit plan um, it says that exit if sale order trigger as you can understand that uh, yesterday we have a sale trigger we do not have this buy trigger this buy order you have placed at 32613 was always remember um, you you were at uh, this point when you uh, you are at this point when you place the order that was the conditions you were seeing and then you were saying that you were seeing that your sale order has triggered. Once this sale order has triggered, um, then 32613 should act as a um, stop loss because it is the pending order and it will act as a uh, stop loss for the day. Now, uh, what is your plan? Um, exit if sale order trigger at 315. Okay. Um, it is clearly says that because your sale order has triggered, you have to hold the trade till 350 uh, target if buy order triggered as 32939 now buy order is not triggered so there is no questions see why this flexibility mm, uh, it is based on our gardener principle we always try to stay flexible and then uh, alternative target if sale triggered uh, that is a conservative target 32227 now mm, if you if you uh, if you are conservative you don't want to hold the trade till 315 then 32227 will be your exit point so i am also placing a, uh, a line here uh, that line will uh, say about the target so um, the target was 32227 okay and I change this color to um, dark blue so that it denotes the target uh, and it gives the target and as you can see that um, uh, shortly after that here uh, our target 32227 was achieved okay now uh, here i personally uh, prefer to hold till 315 so i uh, hold um, this trade till 315 and i exited around here um, so in my tracker as you can see that my exit is 32315 because um, i hold the trade till 315 anyone who want to trade it in conservative fashion um, they can exit at 3227 so it give you the entry it give you flexibility it give you uh, it manage risks with the stop and it also give you the target everything is uh, planned well when you planned well you make money uh, thank you so much for your time with me uh, have a nice day i will update you time to time in future also take care